Hey guys, Catherine here. Um, back at you today to show you what I am doing. I am making another bezel in the Magic the Gathering the set that I'm doing. And the one that I'm doing today is green for the forest. And the forest symbol is a tree. And this one is very like the plains symbol that I, or not, sorry, not plains, swamp. This one is very like the swamp symbol that I did before in that the edges of the bezel are round, but they come in to form the shape of a tree rather than having Sculpey at the center reaching out to meet a circle of Sculpey at the edge to form the out, outer edge of the bezel. Um, so to that end, I have gone ahead and cut a piece of green Sculpey in the round shape and size that I'm using for this. And for this one, I have not yet attached the bit of Sculpey at the top because, and that's a very important because, because I rolled out only enough green Sculpey to make this a green disc. It, I didn't want to take out more because I am going to be cutting green away from this and I'll be able to make a hanging part for it from this Sculpey that I'm taking away anyway. And this one also, very like the Swamp, has pieces in the center which are going to need to be cut out and which will need to be baked separately and then included in in the final product so that the resin can hold them in place. So I've got my bit of paper cut out and I have got it almost lined up to the circle that I intend to do and then I just want to sort of flatten it down into place. go just making sure that everything is sticking down and clinging very well to the Sculpey there we are and then we are ready to cut and just like last time I'm going to start by cutting around the outside so I will take and I will cut just from the outside in doing the best I can not to move the paper. Um, it is stuck down pretty well, but I still don't want it to wander around on me while I'm cutting. And if I drag from the outside in, I find I get better cuts, but pulling from the inside out means that the Sculpey itself wants to wiggle around a little bit. And while a little bit wouldn't be too bad, too much, and I lose the shape of the circle that it's caught, that it's got, which is not a good thing. Go and then, just as with the other side, just around the trunk, out along to the very tip of the root, and then we are ready to go around the branches well the foliage anyway we've got distinct distinct branch shapes in the middle which we will be cutting out in a moment but this is going to be the foliage go. and it's basically just lumpy shapes of different sizes until it gets all the way around there we are and then the branch shapes in the center here are basically just various cut out triangles and half moons in order to then leave the negative space of the branches coming down from the foliage. Ooh, and there are four of them, so we've done three, need one more. And done. All right. And then lift up the paper bit and set it aside. And then 
lift out the center tree trying to leave all of the important parts actually I may just lift those out and then place them back in afterward they don't really want to stay on my wooden block rather than come away with the sculpey like I would like and then just kind of tuck it back into a round shape and neaten up that cut right there because it didn't completely go all the way through and then take and lift out these pieces if I can get them there we go try not to stab them too much and make them different shapes and set them in the center here there we go two come on you three now I mentioned before a uh, swamp was one of my favorite magic the gathering colors but you can combine the colors in Magic the Gathering, and my favorite deck, because Magic is a card game, my favorite deck, one, two, three, four, actually these are five cutout pieces, that's okay, uh, my favorite deck is black green, so swamp and forest together, which creates sort of large monsters that you can um, raise from the dead and it's very monster oriented as opposed to like spells or things like that there we go all right and then what i think we will do is just take this curve and continue it separate it off from the rest of this green and then just mash this up and then take this and set it right in the middle of that press down and that gives us a nice bit of loop that we can connect up to the top of the tree and there we have it it needs a little bit of straightening a little bit of smoothing and a little bit of connecting everything back on um, but that's gonna be it that is the forest symbol from Magic the Gathering made out of Sculpey into a shape that can then be used as a bezel for setting resin in. Um, tiny dried leaves or flowers might be really excellent for this one because it is a forest symbol. Um, okay, I'm just taking and smoothing that out a little bit. That's okay. Actually, I want this to be a little bit shorter. Take that and set it aside and cut that off and set it aside. And there we are. And then I will just attach it on and bake it according to the Sculpey instructions. And there we have it. Let me just straighten that out a little bit more. See if I can't get those all lined up nicely. And there we go. The green forest symbol from Magic the Gathering. 
All right, if you liked this, let me know by leaving a like. And if you'd like to see more of these, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I'm constantly doing things, and I'd be happy to share them with you. And um, if you have ideas of things that you'd like to see me try, go ahead and let me know by leaving a comment. See you all later. Bye.